something happened to my favorite scruffy freelancer? <laughs> Alex is dead. Um, I'm going to wring your scrawny neck, you sprat fuck. <laughs> Give me back my ship. <laughs> Jesus. Well, every single urge in my body really wants to do this. It's going to give me so much trouble, though. Fuck it. All right, so we were about to go to our next destination, but uh, before we were going to go ahead and do that, I just had to uh, show you guys this view. This game looks incredible. That's fucking amazing. And, um... Well, here I go again. <laughs> if you want to get a chance to um, to win this game, all you got to do is leave a comment in the comment section uh, from part one of the video. And uh, once you've done that, you get to automatically get a chance to win the Outer Worlds. And if you guys watched episode four, which you better should have, then, um, <laughs> then you realize I'm giving away two copies of the game. Two motherfucking copies. Now, um... So yeah, if you want to get a chance to win that, just leave a comment in the comment section down below and uh, get a chance to win that. So right now we're uh, going to have to go space travel to the Groundbreaker, it seems like. And, uh... <laughs> wow, that's... That's quality space travel right there. Alright, seems like we got to go a little bit to... You know, Uh, select a companion? Yeah, let's pick her. Let's pick our girl. By the way, I'm a captain, if you guys have noticed. I'm the captain now, baby. Ah. Oh, man. That's how you enjoy drink. I'm telling you. You gotta trust me on this. Try it. There's, no <laughs> There's nothing better. I swear to God. Once you start slurping your drinks and going... Afterwards, you're gonna have a good time. Trust me. Captain. Hey, Captain. Up in space. I never thought I'd be able to say that. <laughs> well, welcome, baby. Let's do this. So far, the NPC interactions with uh, with you during the game so far have been very promising. Right this way. Identification, please. Uh, present Hawthorne's ID. Captain Hawthorne, you said. Well, let me apologize in advance. I'm about to ruin your day. <laughs> okay. According to your ship's record, you've been flagged by the board. Your ship will be impounded until such a time as they see fit to lift it. But we've hardly been out of Edgewater long enough to get in trouble. Now, hold on. This isn't the end of the world. Probably. What? Why? You'll want to take it up with Udom Bedford, our board representative here on Groundbreaker. Okay. His office is located along the starboard wall of the promenade. Shines like a Byzantium commode. You can't miss it. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but I'll take it. Uh, any idea why my ship was impounded? Access to that information is above my pay grade, and I've turned down three promotions, so it stays that way. I shouldn't be mentioning it, but what the hell? This here, impounding your ship, it doesn't happen much. The board knows we don't take kindly to their interfering in our operations. Okay. I a guess as to why. You must have riled up someone important. I have, huh? Uh, I'm going to wring this Bedford's neck. All right. Uh, this has to be a mistake. Great. I'll go talk to him and straighten this out. You take the starch out of him. Well, you won't hear any complaints from me. I see. Oh, and if you're headed that way, would you mind doing me a favor? What's that? Uh, sure. Wanda Dorset over in sick bay. Tell her the shipment's not in yet. It's not coming in anytime soon, and if she'd be so obliged to get off my ass about it. <laughs> okay, I'll uh I got it. Much appreciated. You're very welcome, Is there anything sir. Anything else I can help you with? Um I'm looking for someone named Gladys. The fence. You'll find her in the rest and go. On your left when you enter the promenade. Make okay. sure you bring an empty belly. <laughs> I'll try. I'm looking for a drink. Any recommendations? Most places are on the promenade deck. Big door yonder. Straight through security. There's a bar on the starboard side. Okay. I got a preference for the Lost Hope myself. Talk to Vera. She'll set you right. Decent. Got it. You need anything else? You let me know. Don't want anyone saying Groundbreaker's not the most hospitable port in the colony. 
Well, don't make me give you a bad review as well. Uh, what can you tell me about Uden Bamford? It seems like there's some tension between the board and the groundbreaker. You noticed, huh? I did. Because the option was in the chat. <laughs> yeah, I'm sharp like that. What can I say? We're passionate folks, and the board can't abide that independent spirit, especially not when it might impact their bottom line. I see. All their interstellar freighters come through us, and we skim a few bits off the top and manifest processing fees with every one. Folks around here will bluster that the board hates our freedom, but really, they know we can stop their out-system shipments any time we like, and that terrifies them. I see. Uh, sounds complicated. I'm glad it terrifies them. The bastards keep pushing them. Why can't Groundbreakers and Borg just work together? Uh, no. Sounds complicated. Sounds like, yeah. But from where I sit, it's all coming through loud and clear. Of course. They got assault cruisers, gunships, and a handful of mining operations at their fingertips. We push them too hard, maybe they decide we'd be better in 10 trillion little pieces. Or they cobble together a new groundbreaker and put us out of business. Possible. The board wouldn't do that, would they? It's a tough line to walk, no doubt about that. But we may do all right. So far, anyway. Um. Thanks for the info. Sure thing. Um, see you around. Be seeing you. Be seeing you too, bud. Okay, um... Big door over yonder, he said. Uh, probably further in. Okay, so if you guys uh, want to see me uh, press every single uh, part of the dialogue, if you're interested in that, just let me know. Uh, keep in mind, though, if I do that, um, we will be getting uh, longer episodes. So I hope you don't mind that too much. Gladys? Oh boy, I see fat loot. Oh, I'm stealing. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. I don't want to steal. I don't want to steal. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. My bad. Big door over yonder. Oh, this might be it. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. 12 whole percent, huh? Uh, let's first go talk to Gladys before we gotta get wasted in the bar. And, um... Can we rent an upstairs room? Sure. Whatever you want, baby. Bless my heart. A stranger come knocking on a poor old woman's door. Yeah. You hear Not buying that. Reason? Or did the neighbors tell you how good my sugar cookies are? <laughs> Your sugar cookies, huh? Ingredient or an oven. Just like store-bought. Phineas sent me, he said he could help me a nav key on a Stellar Bay. Those have been the height of illegality since Stellar Bay turned their noses up at the board. You and I could be thrown to the void just for discussing such a transaction. I see. Lucky for us, Groundbreaker's a free port. We're outside of the board's control. For the time being, at least. I see. Now, I only have the one nav key. And they're hard to come by these days. It won't be cheap. If you find yourself lacking in the bits, I might have an opportunity you'd be interested in. Well, I probably might have to. I don't have 10,000 bits. So, <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's a lot of cash. Tell me about this opportunity. Well, I find I'm in need of a ship captain with a little moral flexibility. Might be this could help out the groundbreaker, as well as earn some bits. But if you've got qualms... Qualms? What a... Other jobs do you know about? No qualms here. Let's hear the details. Do you know Edna over in engineering? Sweet as a pea, that one. On occasion, she'll pass along transmissions I might find interesting. She sent me a recording of a distress signal she'd scraped from the Groundbreaker's comm array. Curious thing is, it came from an outpost called Roseway. And Auntie Cleo abandoned that place years ago. I see. Uh, say no more, I'm in. You've got an ear for intrigue and a nose for bits. I like that. Here's a copy of the SOS recording, complete with the coordinates. Ah, oh, sweet! If you should find a secret worth selling, might be I could find a buyer. Corporate bigwigs will pay top bit for inside information on their competitors. I see. The more we got the corpse fighting each other, the less time they got to meddle in our affairs. That makes sense. 
Abandoned outpost, corporate secrets. Don't Got it. Don't forget to come find old Gladys when you're done. I will keep it in mind. Um, thanks. Anytime, sweetheart. You know where to find. Purpleberry me. bunch. Here, take a candy with you. <laughs> thanks. Okay. Um. So yeah, let's take a look at our quest log real quick because uh, we got these side missions which which require me to uh, go to my ship. Uh, maybe this one doesn't. So we're just gonna go ahead and do that one right quick, and then we're gonna go ahead and figure out how. Um... Oh, I'm gonna close the door. <laughs> All right, sweet fat loots. Ah, we found those keys earlier. Oh. Uh, you know, nothing going on here. Just hanging out with my friends. Oh, shit, run. Okay. So, um... You can't get me out of there. Please don't make a scene, Dr. Fenhill. I am not making a scene. Alright, let's go ahead and talk to her. Can't say I've seen you before. I take it you're a freighter, Captain? If you're here to better yourself, you'll have to wait. We're having a spot of trouble with our delivery service. Um, Wheeler told me to tell you to get off his ass about the shipment. Wheeler, <laughs> Wheeler says the shipment won't be coming soon. He must be referring to Erion. I'm sure the fool's gotten himself into another scrape. I'm beginning to wonder if I'm ever going to get my service mechanicals at this rate. Um, I could try to find him. What's, who's Erion? Our delivery man. Ah, okay. A brave idiot with a penchant for getting himself delayed. Sometimes by dates, usually by bandits. I see. I could try to find him. Uh, do you have a need of mechanicals for... Surgery, mostly. Medical oh, okay. personnel are difficult to come by on Groundbreaker. I see. Why is that? The board won't let their doctors and nurses station here, and they own all the medical schools. If we can't hire their people, we can't hire anyone. I see. Everyone on staff here on Groundbreaker was trained by me or Idris. We're good, don't get me wrong. But we've only two heads between us, and we don't know everything. All right, I could try to find him. I'd be grateful if you'd spare the time. We need his delivery soon as yesterday. Last he told me, he was taking a shortcut by Scylla, an asteroid in the Charybdis Cluster. Yeah, I've seen that That's one. where I'd start, were I the adventuring type. You look out, though. The place is probably crawling with outlaws. Well. Let's talk when you're free. Will do. Okay, so right now, uh, I suppose we just gotta go ahead and talk to Udom Bedford. Because, uh, he's the one who can get our ship released. And once our ship gets released, then we can, um, whatchamacallit, do those side missions. I'm just gonna hang in the back and try not to touch anything. <laughs> you do that. Ah, yes. Wheeler messaged me you were coming. He must be the captain of the Unreliable. A vessel that used to be helmed by one Alex Hawthorne. And you are not he. Has something happened to my favorite scruffy freelancer? <laughs> Alex is dead. Um, I'm gonna wring your scrawny neck, you sprat fuck. <laughs> Give me back my ship. <laughs> Jesus, well, every single urge in my body really wants to do this. It's gonna give me so much trouble, though. Fuck it. There's no need for hysterics. This is all a hilarious <laughs> okay, misunderstanding. Jesus. Uh, did you hear me chuckle? Okay, explain. I impounded Alex's ship, not yours. Well, I guess it's yours now if you're captaining it. It's a, a game we play, he and I. I ask him to turn in Phineas Wells. He tells me he will soon. I impound his ship. He explains why he can't give me the info right now. I ask him to turn in wells. Around and around we go. That sounds fun. I'm here to turn in Phineas Wells. Alex is dead. Oh no, this is terrible. My dear friend. Lots of dialogue in this game, right guys? In whose miserable fever dream am I trapped? Uh, I'm sorry for your loss. Oh, Alex. There were so many arguments we'd yet to have. <laughs> uh, forget, Alex. Well, 
Um, I'm here to turn in Phineas Wells. What? Phineas Wells is a mad scientist wanted by the board, right? Wells, I meant smells. I'm sorry? I'm I'm quite certain I heard Wells. Phineas Wells. Phineas smells? That's never a nice thing to say about someone, even a wanted outlaw. <laughs> but you... It's always like this with you tramp freighter captains. <laughs> oh, Captain, be nice. Yes, please do. I have a fragile constitution, I'll have you know. And this runaround is like to give me a cold. I thought you were all about the arguments. Second thought, maybe you should be mean to him just the littlest bit. <laughs> I like you. Fine. You're free to go. I've removed the impound order on your ship. But before you go, I did have one request. What may that be? Alex promised to tell me the location of Phineas Wells. I'm sure you've seen his wanted posters all over the colony. Did Alex tell you where Wells might be? Anything at all? Uh, Alex never mentioned Phineas Wells. Uh, why do you think I'd know anything about Wells? Why is the board so interested in Wells anyway? You haven't read the posters. He's a terrorist. A That's the guy who freed me, right? It's really in the colony's best interest that we stop him before he does further harm. <sighs> okay. Um. That's. Uh, well, that's just terrible news. Oh, what am I going to do now? The board will have my head. Well, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is terribly unprofessional of me. Is there anything else I might help you with? Um. What is this about the board having your head? It's personal business, I'm afraid. Uh, miserably, terribly personal. Uh, is there anything I can do to help? Information on the whereabouts of Phineas Wells would go a long way. It's, well, it's my white whale, I suppose. Your white whale? I can't say your royal whales is. Really, it's perfectly fine. I understand. Now, if you've nothing else, please see yourself out. I'd like to drown myself in work. <laughs> okay. Um, so about Phineas. You've changed your mind? You absolute rat. <laughs> Be my guest. All right, I asked anything, right? Uh, what do you do here exactly? Can you get me to Stellar Bay? Does it seem hot in here to you? What are those locked doors in the back? No, you never mind. Uh, let's go ahead and say we're leaving. So we got our mission updated, which is about 100 meters back there. Back to Gladys. Uh, currently that mission uh, we cannot do because we need about 10,000 bits and we got 377. So yeah, we're gonna have to do some side missions. Uh, the game is forcing me to, which is not a bad thing necessarily. But, um... Wait, what did it tell me to do? Acquire Phineas Signs. Uh, logs in Hawthor... Oh no, this one. Uh, Logs and Hawthor's terminal indicated that Phineas has a powerful weapon at his orbital lab. Okay, acquire a science weapon on Groundbreaker. The Log and Hawthorne's terminal mentioned rumors from the Groundbreakers of a scientist who bragged about a powerful weapon he was researching. Perhaps more details can be found in the station. Alright, so it looks like we are gonna have to talk to Gladys again? To figure out that info? Gracious, I was just sitting down for tea. Well, too bad. Um, I want to talk about the opportunity you mentioned. Yes, dearie. What do you want me to do again? Take that darling ship of yours down to Roseway, where that distress signal I told you about came from. Okay, yeah, and no, we heard this. Tasty corporate secrets so, guys, land. episode five is dialogue, by the way. <laughs> but I promise to get some action in part six, which will be recorded right after this one, of course. What do you want then? My hard-earned wisdom? Uh, sure. You mentioned Growbrick is outside of the board's control. What do you do here? Why do you... Why do the board recall Stellar Bay Navkeys? Ask the common folk, and they'll tell you it's on account of all the monsters on Monarch desperate to gobble you up. Because that's what the board <sighs> tells them, you see. I think they made some fool mistake that would make them look bad to the rest of the colony. And they're trying to hide the evidence. Really? Those board folk are real... Prideful like. 
never want you looking behind the curtain, lest you see their dairy airs. Gladys knows the score. The whole Derry comedy air. is not much more than a diorama, showcasing one bored screw up after another. That's why we gotta keep them from getting their grubby mitts on Groundbreaker. She's our mess. All right. Um, are there still people down there? Probably. Every once in a while, we get these snippets of radio chatter. Edna shows them to me. Some man hooting and hollering about the light in us all. Claims he's transmitting from Monarch. But who knows if that's true. Might be true. Might be some new trick from the board. Maybe. Uh, you mentioned Groundbreaks have set the board's control. What do you do here? Oh, a little of this. A little of that. I buy and sell items that require discretion to dispose of. Knickknacks. Curios. I see. I also need throw pillows stuffed with the hair of famous tossball players. <laughs> but that's more of a passion project. I don't want to know. I'm not sure that's entirely. No, I don't think so it's either. That's half the reason I make them, my dear. But that's not what you wanted to talk about, is it, dear? No, dear. That's right, dearie. The only independent station in the colony. That's us. Though for how long, I can't say. That all depends <sighs> on Miss June Lay. June Lay. Okay. Um, before we're just going to go ahead and dive into a bunch more uh, dialogue, let's first go ahead and maybe see if we can do another. This is the distress signal mission we got, so let's. that's the bathroom. So uh, let's see if we can go ahead and get there. I kind of forgot how I got here, but um, probably through the big ass doll. There we go. So uh, we should be able to travel back now. So guys, welcome to this ship. Take it in, take a deep breath, because we're not gonna be back in here for a little bit. But uh, right now we're gonna go to the next mission and um, I think this would also be a pretty good party in the episode with uh, just for that. We did a lot of dialogue this episode, which isn't the most exciting, but I'm so very grateful to have everybody here. And if you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, comment, or subscribe. And don't forget to sign up for the giveaway, which is almost happening. We're about 14 comments away now from getting there. So, um, yeah, fucking amazing. Thank you guys so much for the support, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye!